proudly brought to you by Hovatech. Hovatech, just a button away. In this video tutorial, I'll be explaining how to root an Android device using Magisk uh, Manager and a boot.img. Now, you need to get the boot.img for your phone, either from the firmware which is downloaded online or from a ROM which you backed up or extracted from your phone. You can back up your phone using a, a variety of tools depending on your chipset. But anyway, you either get the boot.img from the firmware or extracted from your phone. Now, once you have your boot.img, you need to copy it to your phone storage because we are going to be working on that on the device. Now, I have my Magisk installed, and I'm also going to check um, my root status to be to show that the phone is not rooted. Okay, so I'm starting from the very beginning, from scratch. So you can see I do not have root access on this phone. So I will be rooting the phone using Magisk and my boot.img. Now it's very important to get the boot.img for your variant. You know, when it comes to Android, there are a number of variants. So you you just can't use any boot.img on your device. You need to get one that is for your variant or your close to your build number or even for your build number. Okay. So once we have that in place, you are going to launch Magisk Manager. Um, on this screen, you just select no thanks. Um, now, if you're using a Samsung device, you might want to change your settings. Um, you come somewhere under patch boot output format. Now, you'd want to change just to dot img dot tar. That is for Samsung device for Samsung um, users who want to flash their patch boot dot img using Odin. Okay, but I want to use in .img format, so I'll just leave it as it is, okay? But for Samsung users, just take note of that, all right? So now, at this screen, you're going to tap Install. Then you you tap Install again. Um, now you're going to select Patch Boot Image File. Now I'm going to locate my stock boot.img. I save that to the Hovatech folder on my internal storage. Okay, I have it here. I'm going to select it now. So I'm going to allow. So now you, are, you notice that Magisk is going to download the zip file and then begin patching. All right. So I will just wait couple of seconds for okay it's almost done so i think i can just slide up so you can see so now what is happening right now is our magic is now patching the boot image which i just loaded and then it's going to produce the patched boot.img for me on the it's going to save it to the phone storage for me all right so once that is done I will just head over to flashing the patched boot.img to my device. Okay, repacking boot image. You might be wondering why I have ADB open here yes, because I want to flash it in fast boot. Alright, so it says patch boot image is placed in this this magisk patch boot. So I'm going to actually verify that by launching my uh, file manager um, internal storage. So I'm looking for magisk manager. Alright, so as you can see, I have my patch boot. That IMG is 11.43 MB. So now I'm going to copy this file to my um, phone, sorry, to my PC from which I'm going to flash. Now at this point, you now need to flash your boot.img. Now there's a lot of ways you can flash your boot image depending on your kind of chipset and what you have. You might decide to flash using a tool, maybe like Odin. SP Flash to Research Download to Miracle Box, depending on what you have at the moment. Or for most devices, you can flash using Fastboot. Now, I'm going to be demonstrating how to flash using Fastboot, okay, because that's quite general for devices. 
all right so first of all i need to copy this patch put image to my device and that will take a couple of seconds so let me just do that quickly all right so i've copied the patched boot.img or patched boot image to my adb folder and that is what i have um over here as you can see so now i'm going to be flashing this using fast boot now don't forget you can flash your boot image using a variety of methods it depends on your chipset and using a tool uh, using you know a variety of methods but i'm using fast because that is actually quite you know general all right so now before you can use fast boot on your device so you need to have unlocked your bootloader we have a guide on how to unlock your bootloader just check our forum search for how to unlock bootloader or the bootloader of an android device we have a guide on that follow the guide unlock your bootloader don't forget that unlocking your bootloader wipes your data so ensure you have your stuff backed up all right so now once your bootloader is unlocked you are going to boot up the device again and set up um your adb so i'm going to be testing adb connection to my phone by typing adb devices so you can see i have a detection so now i'm going to be putting my phone into um fast boot um which is bootloader so i'm going to be typing adb reboot hyphen boot loader now you're going to see that the screen is going to go off um that the screen to your right Okay, so that is closed already since I, I can't have connection to my device. So now you won't be able to see my screen because it's no longer in ADB mode. So I can't you know, broadcast the screen to you. But my phone is in fast boot mode. So I'm going to um, test connection in fast boot by typing fast boot devices. Okay, so I have a connection in fast boot. So now I'm going to be flashing the... Um, patch boot now some some tools require you to rename your patched boot that's patch underscore boot to just boot let like me when you're flashing the sp flash tool you said download tool and some other tools you need to actually rename your boot but uh, i don't have to rename it in fast boot so i just have to make sure i type the name correctly so to flash this boot in fast boot don't forget that i said you need to have your bootloader unlocked so if your boot, if your bootloader is not unlocked make sure you unlock it now just to verify my bootloader status I will type fast boot get var unlocked just to show uh, sorry get var unlocked just to show all right so that is that for unlocked my bootloader is unlocked so now i'm going to flash the boot image by typing fast boot flash boot then the file name which is patched underscore boot dot img so whatever you name it to make sure you type that correctly all right so that is done so now i'm going to reboot the device to the normal android screen so fast boot reboot all right so my phone is restarting so I'll just give it a couple of I'll give it a couple of seconds to come up. So once it boots up now, I'm going to be I'm going to be testing root status using the root checker application. all right i'm booted up and i should be coming up any moment now all right so i have me here let me just drag this so you can see so i'm going to come back to my root checker and check my root status So I'm going to be very fine roots. All 
All right, so I can see I already have a sign of root access by an app asking for root permission. That means I have root on my device. So I don't even need to wait for root check you can see. All right, so my device is rooted. So that's how to root an Android device using Magisk Manager and your stockboot.img.